Pinadalhan niya ako ng gata. I am shocked. I'm sure you guys know how I've been trying so hard at being better in the kitchen. I want to go out of my comfort zone, create a dish that I've never made before. Well, a lot of dishes fall under that category, but I just wanted to try something that is a specialty from somewhere and one of the places that I know has the best food is Bicol, right? Actually, my my mom's dad's hometown is Bicol and I just know they have such good food. So I tried to ask my Biko friends. One of my best friends, um, no big deal, sent me a video of a tutorial on how to make her specialty. So... Hi Sab! Welcome sa aming munting kusina. Pasensya na, napakaliit ng kitchen namin kasi nakatira kami sa condo. Pero kahit maliit, naging very functional siya, especially no quarantine. Nagkaroon lang talaga ako ng time na mag-luto ulit. Uh, Palit-palitan kami ng mga bata sa pag-luto ng dinner. I can't even pretend that I'm not making it a big deal. It's such a big deal to me that she took the time to do this and... Ah, such a fangirl. But anyway, I want to make her proud. I just find her so inspiring and so yeah, I thought it would be fun to try to make something that she recommended. I just thought, hey, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do it. So, let's do it. Okay, this is so crazy because her team actually, they sent me over the ingredients to make this. They did it without my even having to ask. I didn't, I didn't ask for this, but they're just so efficient like that, I guess. Yeah, so I'm just gonna watch the video that she sent me and then I'm gonna try to recreate it. Okay. Go. Yung request mo daw ay isang Bicol recipe. Yung pinakakilala kasi na parang Bicol dish ay uh, Bicol Express, Laing. Pero uh, for this particular segment, ang naisip ko na ang, ang ipakita sa iyo sa kaituro ay uh, ginataang santol. Uh, kasi yung gina, ginataang santol, mas acceptable siya sa mga non-Bicolano na panlasa kasi na-adjust mo talaga yung level ng spiciness saka napakadali niyang gawin. Yung ingredients sa kailangan, simple-simple, syempre yung pinakauna ay santol, 3 cups ng gata, slice na small pieces of pork, red onion, garlic, tatlong siling pansigang, parang yung ganito. Red chili, pwede yung thai, pwede yung ordinaryong chili, ganito, mag-uong. Saka syempre cooking oil. Yung pinakauna magsusate muna tayo. Pero mga 3 tablespoons of cooking oil. Pag medyo mainit na ng konti, pwede mo nang ihalo yung garlic sa onions. Pag medyo okay na siya, pwede na natin idagdag yung pork. Pag ganito na yung kulay ng pork, pwede na natin idagdag yung minced na santol. eto para na sa take na siya by 2 or 3 to 4 minutes pwede nang idagdag yung agata pag kumulo siya in medium heat na lang natin tapos ipo-cover pag konti na lang yung natirang uh, liquid at saka natin dadagdag yung ibang mga ingredients tapos tapos na. So, paglagay natin ng bagoong, ilalagay na din natin yung siling pansiga. Saka kung gaano kadami yung red na sili yung ilalagay. Pag hindi ka masyado mahilig sa maanghang kahit isa lang. Yan, tapos na. Napakadali po. Ito yung ating finished product. Sana sa magustuhan mo pag trinay mo. Oh my gosh, masarap. 
I am proud of myself. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, VP. So there, I'm so happy na nakapag-glue ako and guided by VP Lenny herself. Thank you so much, VP Lenny, for taking the time and you are a life peg of mine. Thank you so much and I really want to learn more on how to cook and try to make more dishes from different places. So thank you again. Yay!